guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make an incredibly easy strawberry shortcake. And it's going to be dairy free and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be actually better than the one you get like at a restaurant. I, wherever you get your strawberry shortcake, this is going to be it, okay? So the ingredients are very simple. We actually have one, two, three, four, seven, eight ingredients. That's all you need. And they're very simple. Obviously, there. You see that? Yes, I did. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. A strawberry shortcake is extremely easy to make. And you're going to really enjoy it. So let's just go ahead and jump into the ingredients that we need. And let's go. For the ingredients, what we have is two cups of flour. We have some sugar right there, baking so uh, baking powder, and a pinch of salt. We have sliced strawberries. We have extra sugar for the strawberries. We have one cup of almond milk and one egg. And actually, oops, I lied. Ten tablespoons of this buttery sticks cut up right there, cubed. And we have some cocoa whip. This is made out of coconut and it is absolutely delicious. Of course, you can use just regular Cool Whip or ice cream or whipped cream. Whatever, whatever you have on hand, you can use for this recipe. That is it for the ingredients. It's actually 10 ingredients. Let's just go ahead and jump into making these amazing strawberry shortcakes. Before we start, I'm just going to add about four to six tablespoons of sugar to our strawberries. And we want to do this because we want the sugar to just kind of help extract some of that juice down. And of course make them sweet. Next I have my flour, baking powder, sugar, and the salt. We can just go ahead and give that a quick whisk. Your next step is going to be to add the butter. You can use any kind of butter you like, whether it's a vegan butter or not, or dairy free, whatever, whatever you prefer. So what you're gonna do is then just pinch the butter and the flour together. And what you're what you want to do is have really cold butter on your hands. So I cubed up the butter and I stuck it in the freezer for about 15 minutes and really let that get really hard because that's what's going to give you a nice flaky, really flaky um, scones for your strawberry shortcake. Yes, that's what we're making. Strawberry shortcake scones. I'm just going to go ahead and continue this until we have almond meal like texture. Now that you've done all the hard work and pinched all that butter and flour, it should look like almond meal. And that looks pretty good. So this is going to give you really nice flaky scones and it's going to be really good. So what we're going to do next, I have some almond milk here and egg. I'm going to go ahead and the two. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour that egg milk mixture into our flour mixture. I'm just gonna go ahead and fold this in. So now with the scones, you would rather have it, um, it's better to have a little bit runnier dough than drier dough because it makes it a lot easier to work with. Actually um, combine together instead of just fall apart. So it's definitely a lot better to have a little bit more moist than to have it icky and dry. Alright, so I'll show you what to do next. Thank you. 
Now, it would be helpful if you had like that Costco size plastic wrap. Um, I don't, unfortunately, right now, but it would really help because, you know, just one and done. Now I just kind of have to add more and waste my precious time doing it. I'm just kidding. Just okay. Put that down like that. And stuck together. All right. So now that we have our lovely creation, this is where our dough is gonna go. Get some flour and just sprinkle that on top. Now I'm just going to kind of just dump the dough right in the middle. I am now going to put more flour on top and make a nice square out of this. At this point, go ahead and wrap up your dough in the plastic. And I'm gonna stick this in the freezer for about 15 minutes, really let that cool down. Um, ideally, what you wanna do is put it in the fridge overnight and that'll give you a really nice, easy dough to work with. But at this point, um, I don't have that kind of time, so I'm gonna put, do, put it in the freezer for about 15 to 30 minutes, whatever you um, are able to give. So stick this in the freezer and I'll see you guys when it's frozen. Hey guys, we are back. We have our dough nice and chilled. We have a cookie sheet that is lined with parchment paper and I have a glass. You can use a cookie cutter if you have, um, but I don't. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and um, cut some circles out of the dough. And place it on the sheet like so. Just like that, I'm just going to cut them as close to each other as possible. So what you're going to get is six scones, I'm sorry, eight scones. God, my math is off today. Eight scones, I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the oven at 425 degrees. Make sure your oven is preheated. Again, that is 425 degrees for about... Oh God, it can vary. Sometimes they're done in like 15 to 20 minutes and sometimes it takes half an hour. So just keep an eye on them. And once they become golden brown on the edges, you can go ahead and take them out of the oven. So let's go ahead, pop them in the oven. All right, so the scones are in. Just go ahead and make sure that you're keeping an eye on them. Once they're, once they're nice and golden brown on the edges, go ahead and pop them out and Hey guys, and we are back with some wonderful smelling cone slash biscuits. That's what I'm gonna be calling them. Scone biscuits. We clearly have an odd man out right here. And this is what would happen if your dough was dry and did not come together. It would pretty much separate when baking, but these are nice little discs. So, but that does not make this one any less delicious. So, you know, it's perfectly, look, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble these and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So this is what those look like, wonderful. Get a nice plate, get your cocoa whip, open this guy up. That is what that looks like. Yum, yum, yum. Our strawberries have marinated in the sugar and they've got a nice juice going on. You can take on the odd man out. I'm just gonna, for the sake of the video and pictures, I'm gonna choose one that's a bit nicer looking. Cut that in half. 
don't know, my, my knife skills there. Should have scared you. Okay, so I will put down some strawberries first. Oops. We're gonna take a nice spoon of the cocoa whip. And we're gonna put just a few more strawberries. I guess one more strawberry. Maybe a few more. Okay, let's see. There we go. So we will do that. We put the top on. Put a nice dollop of the whip topping. I'm just going to drizzle some of that juice right on top. And that is what that is going to look like. It just looks beautiful. Mm. It looks just as good as... It tastes just as good as it looks. So let's... The scone biscuits are nice and fluffy and have beautiful layers. Mm. I mean... It's wonderful. What else? What else can I say? You can put less strawberries. You can put more strawberries. You can put more cream. You can put less cream. The world is your oyster, I guess. This cocoa whip is so good. Awesome. So that is how you make assemble this super easy yet super yummy dessert. Let me know if you try it out. If you have any suggestions, please comment down below. Please like this video and subscribe. It means a lot to me. For such a minute, tiny little YouTuber on YouTube, it means the world. Trust me. So please, if you can, spare a little like, spare a little subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Alright guys, well thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.